What's up, Brit? You're done? You don't want to do this? No, Brit, you can do this. Don't quit. What are you doing? What happened? You just don't have the motivation to do it? I don't blame you if you don't have the motivation to do it. Unfortunately, college doesn't take it easy on you. Hey, you can do this, Rit. Don't, don't hang, don't just not do it. Hang in there. You can do it. Grinding gotcha is fun for something you want at the end of college, nothing I want. Uh, do you want a degree? Well, this is just me, like, kind of just feeding you what I was taught my entire life, which is go to college, get degree, get good job for your own wants and needs. Useless paper, useless scrap. It's not useless. <laughs> Continue to vent if you'd like, Rit. I'm here for you, buddy. Don't worry. College is rough, and I will say it's not for everyone. I personally think you can do it, Rit, though. Look. Nah. Despite what people say, a college degree isn't just a scrap of paper. Here's, okay, here's here's what I learned at work, guys. I'm gonna be honest with you. You know what a college, you know what a, that piece of paper, that college degree you get at the end of, high, of college? You know what that means? You know what that means to employers? It means that, it means that you are willing to commit to a long-term project and see it through to the end and make it successful. That is what a diploma is. A diploma is proof that you can handle a long-term project and stick it out until the end and make it work. That is what a diploma is. And I learned that from my first job after graduating uh, college. Look, nah, no. Don't give up, nah. I'm not letting you give up, Rit, nah. A diploma's for you willing a corporate slave? Nah, that's not true. Well, I mean, you can look at it that way. That's one way of looking at it, unfortunately, but... Geez, for spitting absolute facts. Proof that you're willing to give up your humanity. Not true, actually. I can, <laughs> I can tell you, not true at all. I know you're going... I know it's rough and you just started college or it, but just hang in there. Proof you're willing to do everything for a poopy rage? Actually, no. When I started my job, I actually got above minimum wage. Like, I got paid well for the experience I got from doing my uh, studies in college. But that was for engineering, so it varies per uh, profession. But people, like, I, like, one of my, one of my best friends was literally like, oh no, you know, why, why do you go to college if you just get a scrap of paper? I'm like, that scrap of paper, after graduating and getting my job in my respective field, literally means like, hey, you're worth it. You are willing to go through four to six years of heck and heaven to complete a project and make it a success. And we need people that are dedicated to make something a success. However, the also opposite is true with what Ritz says, because... Sometimes, kind of just do it for the money, become a corporate slave. <laughs> but it, it be what it be. And that's just a fact of life. Wow, I did all my commissions. Okay, we're going to face someone. If computer science doesn't pay well, you're going Computer science will pay you well, Rit. One of my best friends is a computer science major. The man is making more than me. Like, I'm an aerospace mechanical engineer. I have two degrees. My best friend has a degree in computer science, and he gets paid way more than me. However, right now, the computer science market in my area is kind of, like, rough to get into, but it is totally a profession that pays more than any other engineering profession. When I was in college, there was a thing that I did to enter to engineering where we looked up which engineering profession gets paid more out of all engineering professions. Hilariously enough, 
I think if our memory serves right, mechanical engineering gets paid the least, and then computer science was the one that gets paid the most. It was really funny. I was like, oh gosh. All right, we're gonna face Andreas, and then I'm going to end the stream. <laughs> I'm gonna head out, listen to A and B for my shelf rediscover, and then start grinding. Okay, Rip. Hang in there. I hope you have a good rest of your Thursday. Remember that if you need someone to talk to, I is here. Smash. Hey, to be fair, I'm not gonna lie, I agree with Rit. Andrea's be smashable. If I was into BC Alley, I would totally be for it. Ow. Ow. Okay, do this. Also, be if it can talk in legal. Okay, listen. You and your like technicalities. Why you gotta do that? Oh shoot, he's doing the thing. Andreas, dominator of wolves. <laughs> you good? Get it. You got it. Heading out as well. All right. Well, thanks for joining the stream, man. Time to testify. Come on. Darn it, I didn't... Whoa! There we go. Thank you, man. I'll see you tomorrow's. This is, I was not kidding. That is indeed the shortest stream ever. Thank you guys so much for joining the stream. I now have to hurry up and head to the card shop. Take care, uh, take care guys, and have a wonderful Thursday.